those personal decisions that you and I need to make, the Holy Spirit is there to guide you, to show you how to make those decisions. And that's what we want to get into, to try to understand. So, we will begin with Rome, the fact that you and I could be led by the Spirit. We'll go to Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 16, please. Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 16. The Bible tells us here, As many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So look at verse 14. As many as are led by the Spirit, they are led or they are guided by the Holy Spirit, they are the sons of God. Or we could restate it like this. The children of God, the sons and daughters of God, they have this privilege of being led by the Spirit of God. So put your right hand up. I want to make sure you don't sleep. I know it's warm here. So put your right hand up and say this with me. As a child of God, I have the privilege of being led by the Spirit of God. So as a child of God, as a son and a daughter of God, you are led by the Spirit of God. Now this is the Holy Spirit who does not make us, verse 15, He doesn't make us fearful about God. He's not the spirit of bondage or slavery. But this is the Holy Spirit who brings us into this wonderful place of freedom in God so that we can call God Father. He's a spirit of sonship. He's a spirit of adoption. So the Holy Spirit in you doesn't make you scared, afraid of God. He makes you so joyous about God. Father. He enables you to call God Father. And then in verse 16, he says, For the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So how does He give you this sense of belonging and sense of being able to call God your Father? How does He do it? Verse 16, He bears witness with our spirit. That means the Holy Spirit is actually engaging with your spirit, your human spirit. So we all understand that as human beings, we are tripart beings. We are spirit, soul, and body. We are tripart beings. You are a spiritual being. You have a soul, which is your mind, your emotions, and you live in a body. The body is just the house. But the real person is a spiritual being, spirit and soul. And so the, the Bible says the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit. So your human spirit, that means your spiritual, your spirit being, has five, at least five faculties. Just like how your natural man, your body has five faculties. We can see, hear, smell, taste, and what else? Feel. We have five faculties in the natural. Same way, your spirit, your spiritual part of you, the real part of you, has at least five faculties. You can see, you can hear, you can feel, and you can taste and smell in the spirit, in the spiritual realm, with through those faculties. And the Holy Spirit engages with your spirit through those faculties, through the faculties of your human spirit. The spirit bears witness with my spirit or with your spirit. That means He is giving you this knowing, this awareness. In your spirit, that you are a child of God. He gives you that conviction in your spirit. And so you are able to call God your father. 
So connect this with verse 14. You're led by the Spirit. How are you led by the Spirit? He bears witness with your Spirit. You're led by the Spirit. But how does He lead you? He bears witness with your Spirit. So right now, I'm, act, I'm communicating to you and hopefully at least two of your faculties are receiving this communication. You are seeing and you're hearing. Hopefully. Some of you might already <laughs> have closed your eyes. <laughs> but hopefully you're seeing me and you're hearing me. So at least through two of your faculties, I am actually communicating to you. Now think about in the spiritual. The Holy Spirit is communicating to you through your spiritual faculties. What you hear, what you see, what you feel in your spirit. And He's leading you that way. So we want to drill down into this. Try to understand it. Get a grip on it and begin to practice it as you make decisions in your life. So if you have to make a decision, of course you take responsibility. You do your due diligence. That means you get all the information, you analyze it, you want to do your whatever. You collect all the data, you collect all the information, you look at it. And all of that is then say, Lord, I've done my part. And according to my analysis, according to my thinking, according to my reasoning, I feel I should take this path. But what do you say? So you do your homework. See, this is not a, a reason to become lazy. You do your part. And then you go to God and say, Lord, I've done my part according to my thinking, according to my understanding. This is what I feel I should do, but I need your guidance. I need your direction. And that is where, having prayed that prayer, asking God for His guidance, you listen to the Holy Spirit because He is actually bearing witness with your spirit. He's communicating to you in your spirit. And so you and I need to increase the perception or the perceptivity or, or the sensitivity of our spirit so we can listen to what He's saying and not miss out on what He's saying. As you... Prepare to make that decision. Sometimes, what he tells you may be aligned to what you have, the information you process, the decision you made. Maybe it's all aligned. And it just comes and say, yeah, go ahead. Sometimes, his leading may differ from your analysis. And that is when we say, Lord, I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. I will not lean unto my own understanding. That means you use your understanding, but don't lean on it. Some of us don't want to use our understanding. No, use your understanding, but don't lean on it. You submit your understanding to His leading. You trust in the Lord. And say, okay, I will not lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I will acknowledge Him. Because He will direct my Paths. The question is, how is He going to direct your paths? The Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirits. So we need to learn how to listen to the Holy Spirit. Thank you for listening. We trust this message was a blessing to you. For more free resources, including sermons, sermon notes and books, please visit apcwo.org. For information on APC Bible College in Bangalore, visit apcbiblecollege.org. Do remember to download the All People's Church Bangalore app from the Apple or Google Play Store.